My friends, as I mentioned at the beginning of the Mass, this is the beginning of a brand new year, 2017. How fast this past year went. But you know, last night, last night at midnight, we closed one great door in the Hall of Time. 2016 is gone, and now we opened another. And as we take our first mincing steps across such a threshold into the new year, it is altogether fitting that we salute her who was the first believer in the New Testament, Mary, the mother of God. Oh, the litany of Mary has many titles for her, but one is, one calls her the gate of heaven. And it's through this gate that we can come to Christ when we inevitably move beyond time at the moment of death. Mary and Joseph were poor people in a seemingly unimportant town in Galilee. Scholars now think that the Greek word often translated as carpenter should really be one who works with his hands, a builder. And there would be very little demand for carpentry in poor little Nazareth. Yet Mary knew poverty was chosen to be blessed among all women. Her life was full of heartbreak and difficulties. The Gospels attest to this. But God, through the angel Gabriel, never promised her an easy life in being the mother of God. In fact, after she said, let it be done according to your will, the Gospel says the angel left her. The angel left her. Now her faith has to carry her through all the difficulties of her life. And so today, you know, it might be do us well to recall upon this and see our lives and see our experiences through the lens of Mary's eyes. Her son was destined to be a major threat to the Jewish authorities and the Roman Empire. So much so that he dies on a Roman cross. My friends, each one, of, each one of you, as you share in this Mass for shut-ins today, are part of our prayers. Because we know that you, like Mary, have many trials in your life. There are many times when you seem, al seem alone and very, very quiet because of nobody there to care for you or nobody there to visit you. But I want you to know, as we celebrate this Mass, as we begin this new year, that every one of us in the Diocese of Cleveland keep you in our prayers. You are there, and God loves you. You know, last week I had, or earlier in the year, I had Mass for the, for the prisoners in the Cuyahoga Jail. And I had, I had one line that they really loved. I told them, God loves you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know, it's one of those things where there's nothing we can do. God loves us. No matter what our troubles, where, no matter where we are, no matter what we're suffering, God's there. God loves us. And so in the year 2017, let's pray that it will be filled with both joy and sorrow because we are human. We're human, and we're imperfect human beings. When joy comes, hey, let us be thankful, as Mary was. But when troubles come our way, let us look to her, the gate of heaven. She has the ear of her son. I never forget my mother. You know, when I became bishop, whenever somebody wanted me for something, they'd go to my mother first because they knew she had my ear. And I could never say no to my mother as Jesus never says no to his mother. And so, my friends, as we begin this year of 2017, let us pray daily to Mary that she will intercede for us and that she, has the, who has the ear of her son, Jesus Christ our Lord, will always be there at our side, loving us, caring for us, and supporting us. So God bless you with a blessed new year.